Hello everyone, welcome back to High Mathematics. Happy to see you here. Really interesting algebra problem today. We need to know how many pairs of integers solutions satisfy this equation. We have x over 12 equal to 12 over y. And we need to find how many pairs we'll have with this, with this solution. So how can we solve it? I want to show you a really good approach. How can we solve it? So if it's not hard to you, you can like this video, you can write any comment. It supports me a lot and it helps me a lot to make a new content every day with the higher mathematics. Thank you for watching and let's try to solve it. First, let's multiply it. Let's use a cross multiplying. If we multiply using cross multiplying technique, we will have x times y equal to 12 square. And of course, we can't like simplify this more because we have x, y, we have a constant on the right. So we need to use a little bit trick right here. And take a look closely. I want to write this 12 as, two t as 4 times 3. So we'll have x times y equal to 4 times 3 all raised to the to the square power. And right now I don't want to, to write it uh, using another way because I want to write it as 4 square times 3 square. So x, y equal to x, y equal to 4 square times 3 square. And moreover, I want to write this 4 square as 2 square because we'll know that 4 square equal to 2 square to the square equal to 2 to the fourth power. So we, I do want I want to change this 4 square as 2 to the fourth. So what we have as a result, we have that x, y equal to 2 to the fourth times 3 square. So I hope you, you understand this step, you understand these, these steps right here. Okay, and right now we need to know about the theorem. If we're talking about prime numbers, we need to know a theorem. I write this theorem right here real quick. So this is the theorem if we're talking about prime numbers. What this theorem give us? Take a look closely. If we have, for example, a number that we can write as a to the power x times b to the power y times c to the power d and dot dot dot, a lot of c, e, d, a lot of factors, a lot of factors right here where where a, b, c, and d, a, b, c, d, and a lot of these bases are prime numbers. So this is prime numbers, prime numbers, this is prime numbers. And right here we have a powers, so the number of factors then, number of factors, well, number of factors will be equal to x plus one, y plus 1, z plus 1, so we need to add 1 and we need to multiply it. So what will have as a result? I want to show you by example, so I hope you, I think you don't understand this theorem, but I want to show you with example and I, you understand it real quick. For example, we have, we have, we have 12, yeah? So we can write this 12 as 4 times 3 and moreover, this 4 can be written as 2 square times 3. So we can easily use a theorem right here. Apply this theorem. So the number of factors, so the number of factors, so the number of factors will be equal to, we need to add 1 to this power at first, 2 plus 1, and right here we have 1, we need to add 1 plus 1. So 3 times 2, we will have 6. So if we're talking about 12, we have 6, we have 6 factors. So this is example to this to this theorem. And right now, if you know this theorem right here, so let's write these factors. Factors, what factors we will have? We will have 1, 2, 3, 4, 6, and 12. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So as you can see, this theorem works and it's, this theorem is really good. So 12 can be written in six ways. As you can see right here, we can write it as 1 times 12, we can write it as 2 times 6, 3 times 4, and in the reverse way, 4 times 3, we will have 6 times 2, and 12 times 1. So right here, as you can see, we have, we can easily find this number of factors. How can we do this? We have that x, y equal to 2 to the 4th times 3 square. How can we find this number of factors? Of course, I write it right here, factors, and uses this theorem, we have 2 to the 4th, so the number of factors will be 4 plus 1, right here 3 square, so the number of factors 2 plus 1. So we have 5 times 3, we'll have 15. So we'll, in this case we have 15 factors, if we're talking about our case, because this is an example, this is our case. Right here we have 
15 factors. But I want to mention that this theorem works only with the positive one, because we have we still can write it as minus 1 times minus 12. We can write right here as minus 12 times minus 1, so we can easily use a negative way to, to solve it. So 15, and we need to add plus 15 negative negative values. So as a result we have 30. 30 pairs of, of solution. I hope you understand this explanation. If you don't understand, write a question in a comment. I try to help everyone if you if you need it. Maybe you don't understand steps right here. I try to help everyone. And thank you so much for watching. Thank you for your support. Write it in a comment if it's not hard to you. It supports me a lot. It's, it's real quick for you, but it gives me a lot of motivation and a lot of support to make a new content every day. I try to make every videos every day and it helps me a lot. Thank you for watching and see you in the next videos.